How's it going, peeps? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at another member of the new Suicide Squad assembled for the upcoming Suicide Squad movie. If you're new to the channel, we cover the backstories of comic book characters, especially those coming to or rumored to be coming to live action. So hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of your favorite comic book characters backstories. So now let's find out who is the weasel. The Weasel's true name is John Monroe. From what we know, John Monroe was a student at Stanford University. He had very little social contact with other students, and when he did, he was called names like Weasel. Resentful of the way he had always been treated, this led him to becoming a serial killer. The Weasel has no superhuman powers, but is extremely agile and a formidable hand-to-hand -hand combatant. After graduating college, John became a teacher at Vandermeer University in Pittsburgh. Some of his former classmates from Stanford worked at the university that had taunted him during college. John made himself a weasel costume and violently murdered all three members of the faculty that had treated him so poorly years before. He somehow rationalized it by deeming them a threat to his tenure at Vandermeer. Shortly after the murders, Dr. Martin Stein arrived to fill one of the positions. Stein happened to be the hero Firestorm. Weasel made a couple of attempts on his life. Firestorm defeated him, revealed his true identity, and Monroe was sent to Bellarive Penitentiary. The Weasel was added to the Suicide Squad and went on one mission. During the mission, Weasel went crazy and went on a killing spree. He ended up being responsible for the death of the Thinker. On that same mission, he was killed by Rick Flagg. When DC rebooted everything, John Monroe was more animalistic and closer to a true Weasel. This is the version we're going to get for the movie. I know this video was short, but there was not a lot to go on. It's one of those James Gunn things where he goes and picks the most obscure characters he can find. So what do you think about the weasel? What are the odds you give him on surviving the movie? Me, pretty low. Let me know what you think down below. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. Ahala. Peace.